Gantry cranes are used all over the world for moving and placing heavy or large equipment. From lifting an engine block to carrying shipping containers, these devices make it possible. The requirements for our project was to design and construct a gantry crane capable of lifting a 50-pound weight one foot into the air, moving it over one foot, and bringing it safely back down to rest, all within a five-minute window. Using the mechanical understandings gained from this course, we designed and constructed a crane capable of completing such tasks. The materials used to complete this goal were the VEX robotics design system, as well as two double-pull, double-throw switches. The design and construction of the crane can be broken down into three separate systems. The bridge, the trolley, and the hoist, each one resting on the one prior. We started with the construction of our stanchions. We used a wide foot for stability and built up from there. The bridge is designed to be narrow but tall. Since most of the weight on it will be in the vertical direction, this design provides us with a lot of rigidity. On top of the bridge is the rack for our horizontal movement. The two tracks were later added, and I'll explain why in a moment. The trolley, set to ride on top of the bridge, has two simple requirements. Support the weight of the kettlebell, and move back and forth along the bridge. For strength, we made sure our sides stood tall. Additionally, this allowed plenty of space for mounting the internal mechanics and lift mechanism. For our rack and pinion, we have a 5 to 1 gear ratio, bringing our motors down to a controllable speed and making sure it can move with the weight attached. We added the wheels on the side and the previously mentioned tracks to take most of the weight off the gears and prevent them from seizing. Finally, we designed the hoist. We built it as a module for the trolley so we could work on it separately. We kept its horizontal footprint small to make it easy to attach in the center of the trolley. Our gear train is 25 to 1, giving our motor a stall torque of 30.75 foot-pounds, when only three foot-pounds are required to lift the weight. The 10 times difference prevents the motor from back driving from the weight. Our most likely point of failure for this design would have been the gearbox, if not properly supporting the winch axle. Overall, our design was a success. We were able to complete the required tasks in half the given time.